It's the exquisite Nestor Carbonell. Oh, get out of town. How are you, man? The mysterious one. <laughs> yeah. How are you? I'm great, man. How are you doing? Yeah, very, very well. You're liking Hawaii? I'm enjoying Hawaii. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good place to be. I crashed here as well a few days ago. You did? So I'm waiting <laughs> for my flash. Hopefully get sent straight back to London. I'll talk to Jacob. Maybe, maybe he can make it happen. Tell me, um, you've become a series regular. How did that happen? Is it you came on, they were like, hey, we, we like his eyes. We want, we want Nestor's eyes back in the show. Because we, need, we need more eyeliner. We need more eyeliner. More, more guy liner on the show. Can you tell I made an extra effort for you today? <laughs> Because everyone's like, does he wear eyeliner, does he not? Well, as a kid, I, you know, I, I, I remember being five years old and I had a big complex about my eyelashes as a kid. My, my parents are of Cuban descent. And, um, you know, we're just hairy people, man. Yeah. So I have a lot of hair on, on my eyes. So I cut them off as a kid. I cut them because, uh, uh, you know, all my mom's friends would say, oh, look at his eyelashes. Um, I don't know if they grew back even stronger, mm -hmm. but, but, uh, but so I've, I've dealt with that my whole life. So when it came up on the show and it was online that I was wearing eyeliner, and I said, oh, come on, I've dealt with this before. But then I started looking at it myself, and I said, you know, they're right. It does look like I have yeah. eyeliner on in but certain scenes. Richard Alpert, we don't know too much about his backstory. I don't know much. Uh, I know that, um, that uh, he's, he's clearly, uh, as it doesn't age, he clearly is, we've seen him in 1954, I think, is the earliest we've seen mm -hmm. him, and now obviously in the present. He's looking good. Thank you, thank you. He holds up all right? Yeah. That's oil of LA. He's well, aging real well. He exfoliates <laughs> constantly. We're given the script. I'll be asked to play him a certain way. Of course. But beyond what's on the page, we're, we're not given much, and I think that's by, by design. Uh, absolutely, but your, your character's definitely going to feature a lot more heavily in the final season. I, I have a feeling that he will, that, that my character will feature more, and, and, and hopefully that, that he'll either provide answers yeah. or, or answers about him will be given, too, because okay. I, I, I truly... He is an enigma to me. He's obviously one of the important others, but he's not really the leader. He's not. And I think he's got a bit of a complex about that, because he's neither one or the other. He's mm. not a leader, he's not like a, and he's not, and he's not comfortable being a follower either. He mm. doesn't like to take direction. When Benjamin Linus kind of says to him, you know, go this way, go that way, he's like, hang on a minute. This exactly. Is, yeah. Exactly. So, and it's true, and then Benjamin Linus says, you know, you, you're my number two guy, or number three, really, to Jacob. So who are you to doubt me? I'm your leader. Or Locke says the same thing, essentially. Locke challenges me at the finale last year. And, and it, it doesn't sit well with me, obviously. So it'll be interesting to see what happens this season um, in terms of, you know, is this character going to finally come out and, you know, and, and assert himself beyond being a messenger? You know, or is he going to be, you know, content to be in that awkward middle ground. Are you a big fan of the show before you actually entered? I was a fan of the show initially. I, I, there was a period there where I lost a chunk, so I went back and caught up. Uh, but my wife was a huge, massive fan right. of the show. So when, when I did the show... Hey, Nestor's going to be yeah, on. He's going to be on, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and so the, her first thing is, like, we're all going to Hawaii. So mm. I said, no, no, I'm just going to do the gig, you know, I'll come back, and, you know, maybe if there's more of them, we'll all go. And, mm. and so... Uh, she said, no, we're gone, because what if they kill you, and what if there is no more? So we all went the first time and had a mass, you know, great, great fun. So, so but yeah, we're both huge fans of the show, and, and my wife, as I said, you know, has been a diehard fan since day one. For you, what's the highlight of working on the show? The highlight of the show, it, to me, it starts with what's on the page, you know, and, and, you know, we're working with the best writers right now. I mean, these, these guys are amazing, amazing writers. And, and uh, if it's not on the page, it's, it's just not going to happen. Mm. So it starts with what with, with the script is. And the scripts are, you know, to me, I, I get excited about getting that script. You know, they, they deliver it to your doorstep. You have to be there to get the script. Uh, it's a whole secret thing. You can't, you open it up, your name's on every page. Yeah. Make sure you don't spread it on the internet. Okay. And it's your, and, and it's exciting. I mean, just getting that script is, is, is a thrill. What and happens I, as soon as you read it? Does it just kind of evaporate in it your ev hands? It evaporates, <laughs> exactly. It completely disintegrates, evap no, it's weird. You know, my wife doesn't want to read them because she wants to watch the show. And, I, and I, not that, she, you know, not that she would ever read it, but, but she does. But I, I, I actually, I lock, I lock up the scripts. It's crazy. You're telling me your wife never wants, she doesn't want to go there with no, the script. She, she wants to wait until it airs yeah, and watch absolutely. it like a proper yeah, fan. Like a proper fan. So, so I lock, but I lock them up, make sure that no one who comes to visit, you know, gets, gets a look at the script. Nestor? Oh, yeah. I'm going to ask you to do um, sure. one thing. For the fans that watch you all at home, um, I want you to look directly into that camera and give them something to look forward to in season six. All I can say <laughs> is, fans, is that uh, you're going you're gonna to get some answers. You're going to get some answers from, uh, from the writers as to the mythology of the show. 
there's going to be I think there's going to be a good versus evil enormous battle that we're going to we're going to heat it's going to heat up to that and I think you're definitely going to get answers as to who this guy Richard Alpert is you better because I better know only on Sky One HD only on Sky One HD Nestor Carbonell. Un placer. Thank you Thank very you so much. much. Thank you, man. Real pleasure. Real pleasure.